names here. Let's see. Glenda. Ma mommy. Hey. Joan. Hola, hola. Olivia. Sarah. Hi. Zenny. Hola, hola. Liana. Sorry, if I can't pronounce your name, I'll just say hello and hola. Hola, hola. Finally not wearing your white chef top. Yes! Today is 35 degrees Celsius here in London. So I am not wearing that. It's too hot. Hi Sandra from New Jersey. Hi from Ikuda. Hi from Peru. Hi hi. Hola hola hola. Hi hi everyone. It's quite a lot of you here today. And today we are making uh, a kind of like a little doll, but it's a kind of like a deer and uh, it's a cute one uh, it goes with my um, baby shoe cutter set I don't know if you guys know what that is and um, yes this here is last week tutorial so if you guys are interested and you haven't seen it you can find it on my page so it's like this so the pattern is kind of like within the paste and I have put on the bunting at the end and I make her removable <laughs> ah, so I can play with it yeah a bit silly but <laughs> okay let me squeeze her in back in but uh, the stars and the moon and the cloud is stick on so they cannot move just just her can be move or make another object to put it inside who else is here wow okay hola hola have some ice cream don't have any hello from chile hi hi deep tea narobi Hi, hi, hi everyone. Um, quite, of, quite a lot of you, I recognize your name, so it's become a regular thing. I'm very happy to see you guys here again. Uh, okay, about the competition last week, uh, how to say it? Uh, it's about subscribing to my YouTube channel. So, doing Facebook Live, um, it's kind of like it's good it's very good for my page but I'm kind of neglected my YouTube page and I think I need to do more videos and live there for the my YouTube channel for this channel is more about kind of modeling but for my YouTube channel will be more about cake so if you want to see a uh, more video with uh, kicks and stuff so it will be on my YouTube channel and I think I haven't done a YouTube live before so I think I'm going to do a YouTube live next week um, but I don't know if it is going to work or not as I said I haven't done it before so and I have ordered a, um, a kind of like a clamp for my iPad for my phone, I can only film like portrait like this, but with iPad, uh, I can film landscape. So that is another test for my YouTube channel next week. And uh, I will announce when the YouTube live will be on, on this page, cake page, and so you guys will know. And how to say, and then I have... I think it's next week. I have a demo with Sarah Chino. So next week is another girl, little girl doll. Um, 
I'm going to demo for Saracino page. So stay tuned if you want to see it. Okay, so um, I think that's it for any news for today. And because it is so warm, I will try to kind of like cut all the pieces out first so that it rests on the table and then um, I can assemble it later. So I am going to move the uh, camera down. Right, let me see. Okay. Okay, so um, now let me move that on the side first. Let me pull that somewhere safe. Right, so today we are going to make something like this, but I'm going to make a dough to go with it. And, and if you guys know, these are my my brand. This is my cutter set. You can find it on my website. And uh, it can make kind of like all different style shoes. So if, if you want to see a full instruction, uh, both instruction is on uh, YouTube. All the instruction is on YouTube. Or you can find a, a photo tutorial on my website. So it's a step-by-step -step guide. And uh, for people who, who is not familiar, so you can make all this type of little shoe here. Right, so I am going to use this basic um, shape first. I am going to use a uh, kind of a dark pink color. I am using Saracino modeling paste. It come in different colors. You can buy it on the Saracino website. The weather is quite warm, so your pace, um, I, I have not worn my pace, so they are kind of quite, they're not hard, but they are kind of, uh, how to say, um, harder than normal, but you can warm it in your hand. You don't need a lot for this. For the people who just joined me, I am going to cut out all the parts first and let it rest on the table because it's so warm. Things can be quite soft to work with. And, uh, and then afterward, I, after I cut all the pieces, I am going to make a little deer to go with it, like dough. So roll out your paste. For the base of the shoe, you don't want it too thin. If you have time to dry, you can do it quite thin, like if you put it on a, on a cupcake. So you have a base already to rest on, so your base does not need to be thick. But for now, for demo, the, the thicker it is. Look, you can buy it from ccheck.com. Um, for now, I will have the base quite thick, so it's easier for me to move around. So for both sides, so 
So one. Everything you do twice, isn't it? Because it's shoe. Then you turn this round, so that's the other side of your base. Hi Cecilia, thanks for sharing this demo. Thank you. Right, so I'll put this back in there. If you keep your cutters like this, uh, once you finish, you put back into the sleeve, then it keep your cutters tidy in the drawer or where you store it. This is how I store my cutters. Or you can put it in a little box. It's up to you. I think I need a little bit more paint. You see, this is straight from the top. Normally, I'll put it into the microwave for three seconds because it's so hard. But because of the weather, it just, you, it just warm up in your hand. If your hand becomes sticky, use tracks in this weather. So it kind of make the paste not so sticky in your hand. Or you can use corn flour, but sometimes when the paste already stick to your hand, uh, it's kind of like you have to wash your hand quite often. I mean, you need to wash your hand anyway, but when you're doing paste like this, if you've got bits of paste on your hand, it will make your kind of roll out paste quite bumpy. I don't know if you guys understand what I mean. So, now, Roll out a bit more. In my studio now, the humidity is quite high. Um, it can as wet, apparently. Even I have the fan full on and, and have it running. But it does not affect any of the pace. You see, this is kind of dry hard. So you just need to make your items in advance so that it have time to rest. So now we are going to choose this one. This cutter is for this shape here. I thought I can, let me see if I can fit two in there. Okay. Got something on my hand. Always wiggle your cutters and pull your paste away from your cutters so that it gives you good sharp edges so there's not much. I've got some paste on my hand, excuse me. Uh, got some good sharp edges. If there is any fraying, then you just slightly tap it. You see how soft that is? So leave it on your table for a while. <laughs> Hopefully it won't be too soft for me to work on in a minute. Then I will cut the other side. Remember, um, when you do the reverse side, like the other side, you will need to use your cut out reverse. So we have that now. Now we can move on. I'm not going to cut any more with this. I'm going to move on to oh I'm going to move on to how to say it the doll that I'm going to make. It's kind of a little doll like kind of like a baby theme. Let me put that there. So you guys can see. Uh, we are using brown Saracino brown straight from the top is kind of like brown like this and I have add 
white to it to make a pale brown color. So now we're going to make a doll. Um, I'm going to have them rest there. So pinch, this should be enough for the little doll because I'm only going to make a tiny little one. Roll out the paste until it's no cracks. If you have cracks, it's okay. You can hide the crack at the front for the belly. So if you don't want to waste time, you can do that. I'm not happy with that. You see how soft this paste is? Because it's so warm, my hand is so warm. And in the room now, it's not even that hot. It's only 25 and it becomes sticky on my hand. So use corn flour. Okay, I'm quite happy with that. So roll it out like an oval shape. I am kind of happy with that. Then we will choose a good side. Doesn't have to choose a good side right now, but and then I will. It's a bit flat, so flatten it a little bit, and then I'll cut like this. And then I want to smooth all the uh, edges. So it's kind of like this. Make sure all the cut line is gone. I mean, if you have a silicone tool, that would be good. But if you don't have, you can always use this. It will still, you can still achieve the uh, same kind of effect. But it's just like you need to be very light-handed. Right, so this is my front. I am quite happy with that. Then, I'll put that. I will need some white to make the belly and the face. So I am going to have oh <laughs> fly away. Doesn't have to be really thin, it really depends if you mind, don't mind if it is thick. So I don't really mind. And then I will a little oval shape like this same again I have not made this <laughs> before so I'm kind of like making it as I go along for the people who just joined me at the beginning I have mentioned I am going to do a uh, YouTube live and I will announce on my page when that will happen. So leave that there. Sometimes when your paste is too soft, 
like you can't work with, just leave it on the side like this. It, Saracino paste is really good, it won't dry hard straight away or because sometimes when it dry it gives you problem. It's like it crack, it gives you elephant skin, but Saracino paste is generally so far I've done like use it and it's really good. So I want the um oval to go right in the middle. I have not put it right to the side because I want to make sure I got it correct first. Sometimes you think that you got it centered, but then sometimes it's not. Don't know if you know what I mean. So once you are happy with that, then I mean with it so warm you can see I have not put water there and it already stick stuck. So I'm not going to bother with it. So use your finger to to smoothen all the edges. I mean, if you have time, you can give it a little stitch mark and stuff, but I'm not going to do that now, right now. Margaret, hi Margaret. Great, I did, well, I thought like, let's go through some of my products. And um, I'm glad, I'm glad that you, you would want to learn this as well. So now we move on to the head. And the little hands. So with the hand just little sausage. I always have too much pace and then when you have too much pace it kind of like it take longer for you to get it to the right size. Okay, so I'm quite happy with that. So I think there. Sticky corn flour. So warm. I mean, I thought UK will not get this warm, and uh, obviously, I'm so wrong. So, I want the arm on the side. Is that do this. Hello from Peru. Something like that. And then I'm going to give it a little big head. Right. Pace is quite soft, so you need to have patience when you're making items in the warm weather. Look, because it's so soft, it already kind of kind of not hold the shape. Okay, this side is too long. Let me cut that off. I love working in cold weather because when your pace holds the shape, it kind of much faster when you do things. 
Okay, I'm not going to spend any more time on it, but it is kind of too warm. Oh, you can't see. Okay, so back in a little bit. Like that, and then I am going to... Let's see if that's enough. Maybe a little bit more. And I want to save some to make a little face on the shoe. Ooh, in a minute. Maybe I should leave it out so that it's kind of not so warm. When it, your paste is so soft like this, it's like you, you touch it and you can see your finger mark. Then rest your items, like your paste, uh, on the side for a little bit for it to firm up before you put structure in. Because if you stand it up, the weight of the paste will weigh it down, so your leg will become shorter. So this is the thing you need to remember when you work in a, a warm country. Hi, Mona. Okay, same again. We will roll and get rid of all the crease. And if you can't get rid of it and you don't have time to do that, don't worry, put the crease on the bottom. And then choose the good side for the head. So something like this. Then, get yourself a little cocktail stick, that's too long, uh, I'm going to cut it. Saying that, I should actually put it on, so that I can work with it. So I have two cocktail stick and I want it to stand up. So I want the stick inside there. So if I go like this, that's if it is all the way to the base of your polystyrene, then uh, it's kind of better than just a little bit. So uh, Add some water. Actually, I'm going to measure the leg first. So when I put in, I know exactly where. So there. And there. So this is the distance. Pre put the hole so that you don't need to move it and make sure it's straight kind of straight otherwise you will have problem when you put it in a cake and if if you want it to have it removable once it's dry you can cut off the the stick and then make it flat from the bottom So now that is there. You see now because I touch it, it's kind of like it moved. And you got fingerprint. So it's like this. Oh look, because I put it on the table it's flat. Let me move it again. Someone put ble bellissimo? Bellissimo is it mean nice or pretty? Thank you. Right, so I want the the head 
So once once you're happy with the size, I think I want it a little bit bigger. So I I'll, I'll put that I'll put that there so that you guys can see. Let me move this. So before this is really soft, now it's kind of better not so because sometimes when you when you touch your paste and your paste feels sticky that is 100% mean your paste is too soft to work on you can feel the texture is uh, different right let me add a bit more on the head so that is like that now I'm making this quite chubby and quite wide and I want the head much bigger like so okay and then make yourself a little kind of dent dent on there so that you don't have such a flat head on the back slightly pat it to make it like a little flatter okay hi Liz from UK hi hi right then get yourself some I've got loads of heart cutters I mean I like stars and hearts anyway who doesn't girls love hearts pattern right so find yourself a hard cutter which is kind of the width of your the face of your doll. Uh, I think that is quite good. Then from the paste, white modeling paste that you are resting on the table, that's too small. Then you want to cut yourself one. For metal cutters, what I don't like with metal cutters is there are always joint on the side. And this set is not the expensive set. Some of a good brand, you can hardly notice any joints. But if there is a joint, make sure you kind of give it a, a little cut so it kind of give you a good edge instead of like you can see the step there right so i am happy with that any fray turn it in and what i want is once i do that i want to kind of put it on there and kind of like in the middle I'm not sticking it down yet and I'm thinking the nose is about there so what I want to do is I want to kind of mark it there first then I'll take it back out. Oops. Eileen, hi from Wales. Hi, hi. There's quite a lot of regulars here. I'm so happy. Thank you for tuning in, everyone. Then uh, my hand is shaking. <laughs> uh, and then use a sharp knife because when you see if if the paste drag, that means your your knife is not sharp enough. Then once you have measured the middle, then you follow the curve and cut it to the center. Do the same. So follow the curve. Do the same to the other side. Try to make it the same. 
but if it is not the same, it's okay. Don't think you will notice it that much because you're not going to <laughs> measure it with a ruler. So something like this, then get rid of the edge. I'm quite happy with that. Just make sure all the corners are round before you stick it down. Right, but like I said, it's so warm that I probably don't need any water. But I'm just going to put a little bit on anyway, just to make sure. Right, I'm going to kind of lift this towards me a little because I can't see myself. So you want it kind of like a kind of one third down is the or your top of your heart. So I'm just going to put two little mark of water down there. You can use edible glue or you can use water. I mean with this weather, water will st stick straight away but sometimes water slide. So that's why I prefer edible glue. Then one third down we put it down. Smooth all the edges. Right. I am quite happy with that. Oh my god, there is a little ribbon logo someone just put. I didn't notice that kind of no logo before. Okay, so I am quite happy with that. Now I am going to give it a little pink nose. And I am going to use same color as that one. I think just a little one. And at the moment, um, because of the situation, uh, I don't know, I can't remember if I said it last time. It's like um, if my stock, my stock is quite low. And with the situation now, um, if I sell out with one of the products, I probably won't get any in until God knows when because of the situation. Right, so with a little pink nose, kind of there, you want it kind of smaller than, kind of like a much smaller than the eye. I'm going to put the eye in now. So get yourself some black edible bubbles. I love this. It makes life so much easier. It would be great if they can make more different sizes. So get yourself two same size because otherwise you have one big eye, one small eye. Right, put that aside. Then what I want is, I want the eye kind of in the middle of this and kind of in line with the nose. So your nose, make sure it's kind of like uh, on top of your joint so that it hides the cut out joint for you. So it's about in line and in the middle. So I'll say about there and there. And then I'll put it there. So make sure you press it down all the way. And if you find your one of your eyes is bigger than the other one, kind of like move your pace towards the bubble so that it kind of like tuck the bigger side of the eye in. So it's like this. You can use this same method for owls. I love owls, especially white owls. Did I pronounce it right? You know, the, um, 
the bird else. Okay, and then we are going to draw on the mouth. I am using Saracino pink and where is it? Sometimes I use it straight from there. This is just uh, edible gel color, but um, I find it sometimes quite thick if you do thin line. So get yourself a little bit of color. You only need tiny little bit. Can, can you see? Is it f okay? Sometimes my phone doesn't focus. So this is like this, and this one is rosa pink. I quite like this one. So put put your little pink on the side. And then close the lid. I often have a spray bottle with me so that whenever I need water, which I cannot get to the water, I can open it and then throw some into a container or I can just spray it in there so that I don't give too much water. So you see? And I'll close it. And then make sure before you do anything, kind of wash your brush in case you've got too much color on your brush or too much, too wet, how to say it. Is that the right word? Okay, so I think this is good. And always have a tissue around you. Oh my God, please don't fall. Hold on. I've got things everywhere. Right, get yourself... A tissue. This is my brush. Oh, can you see? You can find it on my website. And it's very, very good. And then get a piece of paper and test it. Okay, so I think I, I'm happy with that. And then from the middle, I'm going to turn it towards me so I can see. Middle of the nose. Then come down. If you find your uh, color too not how to say it, not strong enough, just add from the, the color straight away. So I am trying to make both sides same, do a little... I always find the left side is my problem side. And someone suggests that you, you should, when you do something like this, you should always start on the side that you are not familiar with or you're not very good with. And I always forgot. But today is okay. So something like this. And then I want to give two little eyelashes. Uh, with eyelashes, you can use, uh, let me put this away. You can use, how to say it, you can use uh, a paste or you can use, you can draw on. But I think today I'm going to use paste because very often I find when I draw the uh, eyelashes, they they don't look the same or they're in a different location and it's harder for me to control. Oh wow, quite a lot of you have uh, left a message. Hi Lise from UK. Hi. Hi Laura from Houston. 
Oh, John, thank you. Yes, uh, Laura, uh, John has already answered your question. You can get it from my website, but with US, there is a additional postage to send to US, which is outside UK. So if you don't um, understand or you want to get more information with the postage, go to my website and you can see the uh, shipping and postage page. It will explain to you. Right, so I am using black Saracino modeling paste. I find, I say this time and time again, I find this paste the best to work with when you want to make things this thin because by the time it's this thin it will be broken into bits and parts and and sometimes it is very very frustrating hi Liz from Dublin hi hi right okay so um, I think that is thin enough and if it is not thin enough you can just slightly stretch your paste don't break it and then use a sharp knife cut it at an angle and then once you cut it at an angle I mean this is quite small I don't know if you guys can see and then you cut kind of like uh, flat I'll cut it again and I'll show you. And I find this is the best way if you want to make eyelashes, that thing. So it's kind of like a, I don't know if you can see, I'll put it there, like a triangle. Once you have done that, and then you kind of like triddle <laughs> the end Ooh. to make it pointy. I mean, if you can uh, draw it on, that's the best because this is the, it takes less time. So tiny, tiny, can you see? Like this. Then use some glue and I want it on the side there. This is the thing, when it is so small, sometimes it's hard to pick up. But you can always pick it up with your brush. Oh, God, steak. Just sometimes it's hard to maneuver. Okay, today is not. <laughs> Please, why are you not moving? Oh, God. Okay, you stick to the edible bobo instead of the white. Okay, finally. Yeah, like I said, so if you if you can draw I just find like if you kind of draw it on sometimes it kind of like make your paste really dirty. I don't know if that is what you, I don't know if you understand what I mean. Right, so I'm gonna stick on the other side. Oh hi, hi, hi from Peru. Well there's quite a lot of you from Peru today. Like who said hi? Right, let's see if this one is easier because that one took me a while. Okay, you can put more eyelashes on but at the moment I am only going to do, oh my god, <laughs> I'm only going to do two, uh, yeah, both sides and then afterward I'll probably add more on, I'm not sure. like this.
and then you want to get yourself a little cocktail stick and then put some edible glue in find the find the middle of there like that can you say it yet? Yeah. Because of the shoe at the background, it's kind of keep on not focusing. Right, hold on a second. Let me put this away. And then, when you push this in, make sure you hold you hold there because sometimes when you push it in, it kind of um, how to say it, it move it make the stick go down as well. And then put some edible glue on the surface something like this okay so I can move this away I can move that over there oh. And then, well, let me move it like this. Well, I will still leave that there because I will need that in a minute. And then now we are going to give it a little ear actually. So, get yourself a. Hold on, let me pull this away. Right. Okay, uh, get yourself a something pointy. You don't have to use this particular tool. You can use uh, you can use this. It's up to you. And I am oh oh my god sorry I have moved the thing. So I want two two hole in the middle, kind of there and there. That is for the ankler ankler like that there and then I want kind of ear there and there so this is for when you put your ear and in it will give you a better finish so now we will use we will use a kind of like a darker brown yeah I want it kind of like a pastel pastel um, thing Right, so let me move this back in case I break it. So now it's still movable. It's been nearly an hour and the paste has been on the table like this. So we want so ball and then kind of like this we will make one first and then slightly flatten the end like this and then use a tool like this or you can use if you don't have you can use a cocktail stick and then dent it
drag your pace a little. Something like this. It's like a little hand. Right, you see it's sticking to my hand, so I need some cotton flour. So now, what I want is, I want to slightly roll the end. And then I will cut it there. something like this so you want both sides slightly flattened and then it does not have to be the same I mean you can cut it and do the same it's up to you from Peru. Wow, another person from Peru. Hi, hi. Okay, so I have two of these. Try to make them the same. And then kind of cut it. Because um, it is so warm and everything is so soft, normally when the weather is cold, you don't need to add any support for this. But because it's so warm, I am going to add some wire. You see, I always have an off-cut wire here so that I can use it again. I just randomly pick up wire and it does not need to be thick. For something this small, you don't need thick wire. So, oh God, let me cut it. Hi from Australia. Hello, hello. So you want the uh, wire kind of like halfway in the item you want to put in and halfway out I am going to just cut it in half and then I will use some water and then I'll put it in like so some water yeah like like I said sometime when the weather is not so hot you don't really need to use a pot because uh, the pace will hold itself but it is so warm then you will need to and then add glue, get yourself some sort of long nose plier if you have one, or if you have, tweezer. And then put it in straight down.
<laughs> it looks like a crown. Same the other side. Right, this side I am going to do it like this. So something like this. A bit wonky. Right, if it is wonky, not center, now it's center. Okay, now we're going to move on to the ear. With the ear, I have some light pink made. Same again, Saracino modeling paste. Straight uh, pink and then mix with white. That's quite a lot of you today. I thought you guys are all back to work already. So what you want is you want to have kind of like a you want it to make like a if you have a an oval cutter, you can use an oval cutter but so you want to make it like an almond shape. If your hand is sticky use corn flour. I want to keep it pointy and I don't want it too thin. So what I did is I roll out a oval shape and then I start pinching it. There are, lo there are lots of different ways how to do it. And I want the E quite big. So it's kind of like I want it kind of similar to the side, side of the heart. With this method then you have like kind of like a round edges instead of sharp edges so something like this like that Something like this. Okay, so I'm happy with that now. So I am going to make the other side. I want it pointy like this. For the people who joined me midway, uh, at the beginning of this video, I have mentioned that I am going to start doing YouTube live on my YouTube channel and on my YouTube channel uh, not the live bit but like I always have other video upload there but because of other projects I have at the moment um, I have not been able to do much more on that channel so it's been elected and with the YouTube channel, I am going to do more tutorial on how to make different type of cakes. So if you are interested in making cakes, make sure you stay tuned on my channel. So with this method, like oval, then pinch, then you got nice curve edges and if you have too much, you can always pinch it and then it's kind of like you cut off the excess. Try to make them the same size. I think that is much thicker. I mean, it, this, this one will take a little bit longer. But if you guys do it at home, it's quite therapeutic. Okay, so that one is too big. I'm happy with that. So same again. When it is too much, you cut it off. So I'll cut off there. In there, I think. 
to round it off a little bit more that one can cut a bit more off okay so like that stick it together same again you don't you can just use any size wire you don't need to have it kind of you don't need to have thick wire because this is so such a small item uh, add some water and then put it in Right, you want to make sure you have a kind of like a round, pointy, you don't want it fat, kind of wide. Then once you're happy with it, put some water into the space and then use a plier. And then put it in in an angle. Okay. something like this you can give your ear uh, a little bit more movement or you can round it off so it's up to you so I am going to quite happy with that then I am going to use some pink lustre dust I always have this with me because it's just easy you got all the color there Ideally, you, you use this when, when your paste is dry. Because when it is soft like this, when you touch it, 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 it lined it. But I'll put it on anyway. And then, same again. Get yourself some tissue. And then get yourself a brush. First time using the brush, this brush, so I don't know how good this is. Let me try. Ah, oh, not bad. Not bad at all. So you just want a tiny little pink cheek. Kind of there. By tapping it onto the tissue, it kind of like get rid of the excess, so it doesn't kind of like um, how to say it harsh line or harsh pink. Not if you can see. It. I mean the light lighting here is quite strong so you might not be able to see so I'm quite happy with that so I'm going to do the other side Oh, you can't see. <laughs> I think this is better like this. You guys can see it then. Oh, this side is too much. But it's okay. Okay, so now I will finish with the dusting. And I want to give it a little 
kind of bow on the front. So get yourself some paste. Right, then let me put this aside. You want to cut out a long strip. If it stick to your rolling pin, it doesn't need to be very thin. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so I'm quite happy with that. Then, let me put this away first. Mm. If I put that there, then you guys can see it better, I think. Then I will cut it. I have a fan on today. Don't know if you guys can hear. So you want some strip. Me, um, I have more than enough there. So give some on the neckline. Hi Jonathan, hi, hi, hi. So I want the bow on the side. Then if it is easier, get yourself a scissors. I mean you can do it like in one go, like you can have the have the end dangling, but it's much easier if you want to cut it off and then Anyway, tuck it underneath then. Okay, not bad. And then you kind of scrunch up the end there. I will get back onto the shoe in a minute when I finish this. Give it some water there. So now you want to cut yourself a bowl. This is how I always do. Some people don't do it this way. Can you see? Am I still in, in, in the... Right, so I will trim pot the front, make it like an arrow at the front. Like this. Then it depends how big you want your bowl so what you want is you want to kind of pick it up and then fold it and that 
is the length of your bow. So I want a bow there. Then let me put this away actually. Then put water there. Right, so that is kind of the same. And then I go like this. You can have a, a big bowl or small bowl, it's totally up to you. Then I will kind of scrunch it up there. In there. Kind of tuck it. Kind of like this. But I'm going to use this side. Or that side. It's up to you. If you find the 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 bowl, the hole is closing on you, use the back of your paintbrush. Open it back up. And in case it dried up, kind of put it there. And pick it up. Put it there. And give it a little tuck there. So I am going to leave it like this. I mean, I might add a tail to it, I'm not sure, but I'm going to leave it like this. So that's that and then now we are going to move back to the shoe right let me put this away put her over there okay so now we move back home to there we want to Get yourself two little sausage. That's uh, inside of the shoe. You won't be able to see it anyway. Oh, oh, thank you, Maria. Ding, ding, mm, yin, yin. Oh, thank you, Sita. Hello, Elizabeth. Okay. So get yourself something. And kind of like this. You can't, like I said, you can't. You can't see anyway. And then, this is for the front of, the support for the front of your shoe. And you want it kind of slightly step back from the edge. So what you want is you want it from there to there. It's up to you. You can have it all the way around. But this is mainly for the front. You don't have to have it all the way around. So this is the inner support for your pace to rest on. On my YouTube channel, um, there is step to step by step guide on how to make all the shoes which is in front of me there like the structure of it or you can go to my website okay so this is that then what you want is the the 
it's kind of like it go back on itself and then it kind of tuck that way okay so I will do this one first put some water there So this one is uh, slightly trickier because uh, it come back on itself. So find the center of the curve. Right, so if I turn it this way. So you, your edge you follow the edge. You have this lift up. You see your pace now is not too soft, so it will stand up for you to kind of move around. If you find like, oh, there are places your, your hand cannot be rich, then you can always use your paintbrush. So put your paintbrush inside, slightly kind of hold on to the paste. And then that, if your paste flop down and it cannot stand like this that means your paste is too soft especially for the people who make their own gum paste or modeling paste they use tracks or cmc make sure your paste can stand like this otherwise uh, it will give yourself more trouble turn it around use your paintbrush if you can't reach to the place Put some edible glue there, and there, and there. And then once you anchor your paste down, and there. Right, it's not. Then use your paintbrush if this is not sticking. Slightly stretch your pace a little. And then tuck any edges. When it is wet, you need to see it a little bit longer. Ooh, can you see? So the inner you can do it in different color like um, a skin color sold let me do the other side so that's that so that is exactly that one when it is dry what can you see okay now we will do this side this is what i mean your front is resting on there Hola, hola, hi, hi. So her feet round. This is ideal for cupcake. You can have just one on a cupcake or you can have both on the cupcake. Same again. find the middle kind of like you look at it and then that's the curve that that is the middle then tuck yourself and then follow the curve if your pace does not meet 
just slightly stretch it like this. Your paste now can stand itself. That means it's good to use. This is good because the paste is standing itself. If your paste is so soft, you give yourself trouble. You see this one is even drier than that one. It just so much easier. So add some glue there. Add some glue there. Mm -hmm. And put it like that. And then use your paintbrush like that. Once it's dry, it will stick together, but it's only because it's wet. That's why it's kind of moving around. Okay. So we have that there. quite happy with that then now I am going to make this on there so what you want is you want to roll out yourself uh, some paste so I hope this demo help you guys with this When it is drying, before it is um, too dry, if you want to change the position or anything, you can do it then. Now may be a bit too soft to do that. Oh, uh, you can buy this on my website, cheek.com. Right, then we want to roll this out. So now you want to uh, find yourself two circle. I have kind of, over the years, when I see circle cutter, whenever I see circle cutters, I just buy it no matter what. So find yourself a circle cutter like this, I think. This might be too big. but. Find yourself a circle cutter that will fit there and get yourself some hard cutters. I think that might be too big but let's give it a try anyway. Uh, I choose the bigger one. So one, two. I'll cut everything in two first and I'll finish one. I think that is too big as well. Uh, right, unfortunately, all my hard cutters are too big. Hmm. Okay, uh, then I will freehand cutting it. Yeah, it's too big. Then get yourself mm, two small cutters. Like get yourself a circle cutter and then slightly mark your paste. I don't know if you guys can see. Can you see? This is how I 
do pattern sometimes. So make you make it like that, and then you want to know how far you need to go. So I'll mark it there. So. I have marked it like this. This is only because I don't have the cutter for that size. And it fit in there perfectly, you see. So this is how I make my own pattern. Then once I am happy with that, I will find the center of the heart there. Then I will Follow the curve and then cut it. So I have my own heart cutter template. Then cut. The heart. Oh. oh, actually, let me cut this out first. So, before I go any further, you remember the nose in the middle is kind of lower than normal. So, I think I need to cut. Kind of to there. So I have a heart cut out. Okay. So then now we will do the same. You want to kind of like like this. In so it's like this, then I mean, you can do this on the shoe if your shoe is dry, but I do this on the table, it's the same. It's just easier to lift it up. So any phrase, push it in. And then once you're happy with that, you kind of mark it a little. I don't put a lot on in case I need to take it back out. So same again. One third. My hand is too sticky. One third down of your oh my god it stick to my hand hold on this is the thing it's a big no no when your pace is so soft but better soft than hard so one third down try to find the middle and then I will cut that bit off. Then you want to get yourself little, 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 tiny, little, tiny, tiny, little notes. It is quite fiddly when you make small things, but I really like small things. And if you have a little pink bobble, you can use little pink bobble instead. Oh, Carmen, thanks. Right, little pink bobble. Oh, where did it go? Oh, there. <laughs> it's so small that I can't even see it. Go there. So you hide the joint and then you can pick it up with your wet brush. And then put it there. Right. Hold on. I need to get some black bubbles, which I forgot to get. Uh, you can get tiny, tiny black. 
black bubbles. Hi, Christy. Yes, I have just demoed the uh, the first step of the shoe. This is what I just made. And now I'm making the front for the shoe to go with this. Right, get yourself little bubbles. Add the bubble bubbles and choose. They come in different sizes. Same again. Try to find the same size. I don't think this will be as cute because the bubble are tiny. Let me see if I can use the bigger one. Will it look odd? Thank you for sharing. Amazing work. Well done. Really. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Very kind of you. Right, let me see if it looks odd. Yes, definitely that is too big on there. So I am going to find the biggest one. That is the biggest one. I always have this and I always have the white as well. Uh, very convenient when you do things. And then same again, you want to be kind of in line with the nose and in the middle. Kind of there and there. You can draw the uh, mouth on. But I'm not going to because this demo is already quite long. Right, once you are happy where it is, be careful the, the colour run off the from the eye, the edible bubble. You can use black paste. Look, mini one. So draw on the little mouth. I probably will draw it on after this demo because this demo is running very long already. So now we are going to add the ear. The ear is light pink. And we want some brown as well <laughs> hi waiting for my cutter to come looking forward to making some thank you yes you are from Ireland it will take a while because I asked the post office um, it will take longer and it will take a little bit longer because um, I don't go to post office every day. Before the COVID-19, I go to post office every day, but at the moment, I don't. So that's why I put on website that, um, that it will take a while. Right, so I have cut something like this. You don't have to have cut it like this. You can freehand cut it. I think that might be too big anyway, but I'm going to use it anyway. So one. So you want this slightly thicker. So that it kind of hold itself. And Yes, yeah, sometimes I do remember who have ordered from my website and I do remember people's name if I see their name more than a few times. So I am quite happy with that but I find that too pointy so I will give you a cut. You don't want it too sharp. So do the same. So put that on top of, oh actually, so warm in case it stick together. 
put it on top of each other and then cut it so that you got like similar size yeah so we will put that on the side for now then now we are going to do the ear I'm going to use the same thing Christine, fantastic as I have a lovely new grandson born two days ago Oh, congratulations! Congratulations Christine, when you watch back this uh, playback I have mentioned that I am going to do YouTube live as well so remember to watch that as well I might need more of that I think Is that the same color? I have so many brands on the side I can't even remember which color is which Sorry guys Okay, here So pre prepare yourself some different color brand uh, sometimes I don't use the brand directly from the top because when you take photos sometimes when you are in a kind of like a darker room the brand look like black so I like to lighten my brand a little bit so okay I am happy with that Then I will use this again I don't have anything smaller than that. Oh, I have actually. Silly me. I think that's too small. This is... Uh, I will put the... The, um, the link or the company name of this particular set on the comment after... Or on the title of this video. So that you guys, if you're interested, you can... Uh, you can order one yourself. I find this uh, particular set extremely useful. So useful. Use a soft brush. Get it out. Okay. Then same again. This one. It's so small, then you just kind of do. I don't know if you can see. Kind of do two line, one. Oh. Right, let me move that on the top and see if you can see. Can you see better? So it's kind of like. This. It's kind of like a you can do a T drop. Oh my god, T drop shape. Is it focusing? Why are you not focusing? Anyway, um, it's not somehow it's not focusing. Come on, okay, now it's focused. Then you kind of like one, two, do two lines. Okay, so now we can assemble it together, turn it kind of round. I find it too, kind of too circle on the top. So what I'm going to do is I am going to slightly cut there. And then round off all the edges. like this so now it's not so round flip it over like this then now you need to f stick everything reverse Christine th thank you see something always happened when I wanted to see and watch <laughs> I'm glad I'm glad I'm glad you enjoy my video Thank you for tuning in and watching. I mean, thank you for everyone who tune in and watching. Uh, sometimes it surprises myself how many are like 
how many of you are actually watching me? Thank you. But if you guys can tune in my YouTube channel, I'll be even more happier. <laughs> okay, so now you have the horn. Then I will stick the ear on the side. Like so. If this is if if your items like these are not staying there, did I cut two out? Yes. You can always put another one at the back and stick it on so that it make it stay. The ear might be too big, so if it is too big, I will sort it out after the demo. Look, how cute is this? Sorry, sometimes I do get too excited with my own thing. So, get some edible glue, put it on there. And then, oh, oh no. Oh no. Make sure you tuck the front in. So do the other side. I'm not going to do the other side right now. I probably have to move it because it's not at the front. But so baby shoe with that. That's it for today. Thank you for watching and if you like this video, please share it and stay tuned for other live videos on my page, uh, Facebook and YouTube and I will announce it here always and I will see you guys next Friday. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you. You guys have stay tuned. Thank you. Thank you.